Let's now return to the problem of characterizing the effect of the weight of block B on the system. And the first thing we have to do is realize that the force of gravity or the earth acting on block B is an, ex is an external force to the system. And because of that, it's going to do work on the system. And therefore, A and B are possible options. Now to decide which one is the correct one, we can draw the weight as a vector acting on block B. And then as we did before, we draw the displacement vector. And this time it's off to the right, I'm sorry, off to the left and upward because block B is being pushed by the spring as it decompresses, it's being pushed towards the left. And of course the platform is still moving upward. So we can ask the same question as we did before and think about what the dot product is between the weight vector and the displacement vector. And we can clearly see that the cosine of the angle between them is going to be a negative number, simply because the angle between these two vectors is greater than 90 degrees. And that'll be true for every single point along this path. So then we conclude that the work done by the force of gravity on block B must be negative work done on the system. So B is the correct answer.